What's up, ladies and gentlemen? What about me? How you doing? I was about he to introduce you. Me. You're uh, always here. I it's mean, Father's Day, and this is the show I can go to, and Kathy's really happy about it. Or, <laughs> or basically, she's pretending to be happy. I'm not even going to pretend. Although, Kathy did give me a couple of, of Father's Day gifts last night. She gave me uh, a pair of jeans, which were um, boot cut. I accidentally bought boot cut. So, we'll send those back. But then she gave me a pair of like house pants, like flannel house pants. You know what I'm talking about? And they were too small. So, I got big legs. I played soccer. So I got... A hundred years ago. <laughs> yeah, pretty close. The Rodeo Drive show is in Beverly Hills. It takes over all of Rodeo Drive, which is near Beverly Hills. Beverly in. Hills. In Beverly Hills. It's kind of like the heart of Beverly Hills. And every store that you go into, minimum that you could spend is about $100,000. Knowing Kathy, she's going to buy quite a few things. Oh, yeah. Considering we almost bought, what, about $20 million in houses yesterday? Or the other day? <laughs> can't take her anywhere. She's just a spending fool. But there's nothing more beautiful than this one right here. Look at it. Uh, the 24th annual Rodeo Drive Concord de Elegance. I know. You know what de Elegance means? I don't. Well, it's kind of like you're elegant. <laughs> Anyways, welcome. And we've got uh, about a thousand horsepower here on Rodeo Drive. Incredible. Incredible. One Incredible. car. But it's all, right about, it's all about fashion and style and yeah. being, you know, in the right place. Caitlin, you are... Caitlin brought her, her bug eye. Yeah, and I, right I, here. It's right behind us. Yeah, it's right behind us. Right. Yeah. I'll go check that out. Yeah, you can see that on the highway in Malibu. <laughs> We're gonna come, we'll come to the Peterson and okay. do that next. We'll come by anytime. All right. All right. Says, don't say, oh, that's a beautiful car. They all say, that is the cutest car I've ever it is, seen. It is. It it's is. It's cute. And you, you have no trouble no, with the bug eyes are inside. cute. Take a take it around. Move it around. There it is right there. Hold it up a little higher. What? Go what? a little higher. How's that? There's my little bug eye. Right that's right. There. Why yeah. this car? Why this car for you? It was in 1965. Yeah. Uh, I was 15 years old, and my dad taught me to drive in a 1960 Austin Healy bug eye spray right. in the parking lot. First time with a clutch. Yeah. You know how that goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And uh, you didn't bump, run the bump, car. Bump, and didn't ruin it. Snuck it out a couple of times like a good 15 year old would. <laughs> Never hit anything. I yep. was very proud of myself. Never got caught. Right, right. And then on my 16th birthday, I'm so excited. Hey, <laughs> <laughs> just doing okay. Kendall. Kendall. Sophia. Hi. And 16th birthday, I came home after getting my driver's license. So excited. Yeah. yeah. I could finally drive the bug out on the street. <laughs> Wasn't in the garage. Oh. I go okay. to my dad. Dad, where's the bug? Yeah. Dad goes, I sold it this oh. morning. I cried. Oh, yeah. So, for 50 years, I've wanted a bug eyed sprite, damn it. Yeah. And yeah. I'm going to get eventually. And you, you deserve it. Uh, I, I'm, eventually, I'm going to get one. <laughs> so now. Now, yeah, so I have done this a uh, whole bunch of work on this. Yeah, yeah. I can imagine. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. congratulations. It's, 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 yeah. it's gorgeous and it's uh, it's, it's cute. And it's cute. And you fit in this office. And I fit. And 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 on the back, Dad Sprite. Dad Sprite. Yeah, because in honor of my father. <laughs> Thank you. 
walking along uh, Rodeo Drive. There's pretty much cars everywhere, but I just got a text from Stuart Wilson. Uh, you may know Stuart, he's uh, Bruce Willis' stuntman. His Lincoln has just died in the driveway, so we're gonna go and see if we can fix it. He's right up here. Well, yeah. So What'd you do this time, buddy? Well, <laughs> I thought for Father's Day I'd enjoy myself, and apparently not. Dude, I think you ran out of gas. The gauge is completely good. It's possible. There's a possibility that he's just out of gas. Not really sure, but I think that's the problem.
surprise, the most overwhelming going to a car show like Rodeo Drive. It only happens once a year. It happens on Father's Day. Truly spectacular show. Not only a spectacular show, but lots of really, really interesting people that you get to commingle with. And you see, I, I probably saw at least 20 or 30 people that I knew. Caitlin's Bug-Eyed Sprite, very cool car. Bruce Meyer was there shooting a TV show. Uh, lots of different people in doing different things. Uh, lots of energy, lots of positive energy. And that takes me to today's theme overall. This is a very fundamental word in the idea of expansion, and that is this word, appreciation. I've said many times, those of you that watch this show, I appreciate you guys very much for hanging out with me. But I also appreciate, you know, the people that, that come with me to the show. We had Ken, we had John Grafman, we had Stuart Wilson and his girlfriend Cindy, and of course my own wife, Kathy hanging out with me on Father's Day and all the people that I got a chance to see uh, while I was there. You know, I, I appreciate going to shows like this and hanging out with those people. The energy is so positive. It's so much fun. Everyone's just having a really good time. But the secret hidden within the word appreciation, that that deep, in-depth secret that is when you feel appreciation, when you, when you think about things and you think about uh, something gratefully, then that specific thing, that thing that you're being grateful for, that thing actually expands. Certainly grateful for cool cars. I don't need to own a ton of cars. There's lots of people that have lots of them and they appreciate doing that kind of thing. That's not really my bag. I don't want to have a huge collection of cars. I just like driving them all. But I appreciate the fact that those guys appreciate their cars and I like hearing the stories. I, you know, I like walking down the street and talking to Caitlin, talking to the other people that, that have really interesting stories about their cars and the things that they built. But I have to constantly remember to remember, to remember to appreciate those things in my life that, that made me feel good and, and to permeate that as, as I go out into the world. So those of you that I got a chance to see at the show, great to see you as always, love hanging out with you. And those of you that I have yet to meet, I will meet you soon. And together, together, we will take over this world one cool car at a time because here on this vlog, it's our job to help you improve your life through what you love. That's what we're doing. That's what you're doing. Voila, done deal.